What is going on people? Welcome back to another video on AJ Favre. In today's video guys, we have an update on AMP which has been quite volatile over the last 24 hours and has just about gained over a percentage in the last 24 hours. Nothing major. What we're going to be going through is what is predicted for AMP for the rest of the year which is about a week and also going into 2024. How high or how low can it go? Is it a crypto worth investing into or holding on to going into next year? And looking at it's essentially its prediction over the short term and over the long term as well. But before I get into all of that stuff, guys, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to go down and smash the subscribe button as well as like the video as I am trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And if you guys can help me hit that target, I will be doing a cryptocurrency giveaway, which you guys can join by simply subscribing to the channel. And for a bonus entry, follow me on Instagram. Link to that will be in the description box down below. So going into the candlestick pattern chart here we do have the fibonacci scale which i'm going to be using later on in the video to do some technical analysis but for now i'm just going to hide this and i'm going to bring out the usual macd indicator to do some price prediction as i'm pretty sure that's what most of you guys are here for so we are looking at the daily chart and at the top here we've got the purple line running across the chart which is the SMA indicator giving us the average value of AMP which is again very very close to the actual value here in green meaning AMP is performing as it's supposed to and it's pretty much on target. So let's zoom in into the 30 minute chart for the short term traders and then I'll move on to the hourly, daily and weekly chart for the long term investors like myself. But before i get into all of that stuff guys just a little disclaimer as usual this is no financial advice i'm not a financial advisor anything i say is from my own prediction and my take on this crypto and any gains or losses you guys make i will not be responsible for so zooming into the 30 minute chart we do have the blue and the orange line looking slightly bullish heading towards a positive direction meaning positive outcome is what is expected over the next 12 to 14 hours so in the early hours of tomorrow amp should essentially be trading at a slightly higher value than where it is at the moment however do expect dips in between as well so red candles just like how it's been, been performing over the last 24 hours but slightly heading towards a positive direction again just because it's going upwards it doesn't mean it's going to be a major pump or a bull run or anything like that it is going to be a very minimal increase in value from AMP over the next 12 to 14 hours. Moving on to the hourly chart, next couple of days, what can we see here? Now we are looking a little bit more skeptical. The blue line is clearly looking bullish, heading towards a positive direction. And the orange line is slightly slanting towards the negative direction. So essentially what we have is two lines going the opposite direction to each other. What does this mean for AMP? So essentially an overall fluctuation in value is what is expected for this crypto over the next seven to eight days so let's say by the end of next week amp should essentially be trading at a uh, slightly basically hovering around its current price range of where it is at the moment however what i'm expecting is an overall minimal increase in value from the crypto because i'm expecting the crypto market in general to be heading upwards for the rest of the year again nothing major but hitting green candles is what I'm expecting. So I'm expecting the same for AMP as well. Even though, yes, we did see a price correction earlier on the week from Bitcoin and the crypto market in general. Right now, most cryptos are slowly starting to gain back value. So AMP should follow a similar pattern as well. So by the end of next week, I'm expecting AMP to be trading at a slightly higher value than where it is at the moment. But do expect red days in between as well, where it's likely to take a little bit of a step back. Moving on to the daily chart, next couple of weeks now we are not looking too good. We've got the blue and the orange line looking bearish heading towards a negative direction. So according to the graph, an overall drop in value is what is expected from AMP over the next six to eight weeks. So essentially February, March 2024, AMP should be trading at a lower value than where it is at the moment. However, that is not what I'm expecting. I'm expecting it to pump up in value higher than where it is at the moment, potentially heading up to about 0 0.006 to 0 0.007 cents is where I'm expecting AMP to be heading to in the first quarter of 2024. So around February, March time, it should be trading around this price range here. However, 
if there are any major changes to that for example if i'm expecting it to go way higher than that or way lower than that then of course i will let you guys know as soon as possible on my instagram page and on my youtube channel as well so make sure you guys stay subscribed and turn on the bell notifications to get notified every time i upload but yeah at the moment it is looking quite good for and um, for the next couple of days weeks and months as well so Let's get rid of the MACD indicator and bring on the Fibonacci scale to see what we can expect. So as you guys can see, we are still trading in the red zone. And for us to hit the green zone, we're going to require a quite of a huge increase. We need to hit about 0.01468 cents to hit the green zone or the resistance target here, which I'm ex not expecting I'm to hit anytime soon. It is going to take at least about a year, year and a half. So about 12 to 18 months for it to hit the resistance target, which again, is very unlikely to take place next year but maybe in 2025 but at the moment we are going to be stuck in the red zone but what matters is as long as we can slowly and steadily head upwards towards the resistance target we should be good to go but yeah at the moment we are going to be stuck in the red zone so going into the coin market cap website here we can see the trading volume has also dropped by seven percent in the last 24 hours making it 10 million dollars reason for that is i would say as you guys can see it has been very volatile up and down so most people have not been trading the crypto they've literally just been holding back so if we zoom out to the seven days chart the trading volume was again about 13 million dollars a week ago and has dropped a little bit over the last week however if we zoom out to the monthly chart where it was pumping like crazy, we can see the trading volume did go up to about 200 and well, let's have a look here about 220 million dollars back on the 7th of December, which was literally about two weeks ago, approximately. But yeah, ever since then, it has taken quite a huge hit on the trading volume, presuming that most people are just holding back and waiting for it to either pump or drop down further. But yeah. This is my take and my prediction on AMP, guys. Yes, I'm expecting a breakout from not just AMP, but the crypto market in 2024. But there will be more updates on that later on, potentially next week or going into early 2024. So make sure you guys stay subscribed to the channel. And what I want you guys to do is let me know your predictions and your takes on AMP going into 2024. What is the highest figure this crypto can hit next year? Let me know in the comment section down below as I'm very intrigued to see how many of you guys are bullish and how many of you guys are bearish on this crypto. And on that note, I'm going to end the video here, guys. I just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you who have been subscribing, liking, commenting, and just supporting the channel in any way or form, and especially all the subscribers out there. Thank you guys so much as it helps me out a lot and means a lot to me as I am trying to hit 100k by the end of the year. And at the end of the day, guys, it is free to subscribe. So why don't you go down and smash that subscribe button and like the video, and I'll catch all of you guys in my next crypto update, which should hopefully be later on today or tomorrow. Until then, Take care and peace.